My name is Becky kagan Shot, and I'm an underwater photographer and shipwreck explorer. And one of my favorite places to dive anywhere on the planet is right here in the Great Lakes, because this is where you find everything from intact wooden side wheelers to wooden schooners, steamers, to giant steel freighters. And they're all preserved here in this cold, clear, fresh water. Right now we're in Port Austin, Michigan, and this area has a lot of shipwreck. Everything from the mid 1850s to 1960s. So there's a large variety of history in the shipwrecks that you can dive here. The wrecks have gone down for a variety of reasons, fog, fires, collisions, ice, and a lot of really violent storms. Right now, the water looks so calm and clear and peaceful, but this area can turn extremely violent. They're known as inland seas, and the, the waves here can get up to 20, 30 feet high and actually snap giant 600-foot ships in half. What I love about diving the shipwrecks in the Great Lakes are the powerful stories. When I dive down on one of these shipwrecks, I'm not just diving on a pile of wood or a big mass, massive piece of steel. There's so many artifacts and a lot of these shipwrecks look just the way they did when they sank, whether it was in the 1850s or the early 1900s. And these, all these shipwrecks have such powerful stories, stories of survival, stories of tragedy. And what I'm trying to do as an underwater photographer is bring these stories to life. So if I can capture a powerful image, just as powerful as that story, that's my goal. I've been diving Port Austin for about eight years, and one of my absolute favorite shipwrecks to dive out here is one called the Sidewheel Steamer Detroit. It was discovered by a shipwreck hunter named David Trotter and his group in 1994, and this is a very intact example of a wooden side wheeler. It's got the big paddle wheels on the sides, the walking beam engine in the center, and it's just absolutely stunning. The Detroit was built in 1846, and then it sank in a collision in 1854. I mean, can you imagine 1854? It's been on the bottom for 168 years. And this was built and, and sank seven years before the Civil War and seven years before Abraham Lincoln was even president. And here it is. We can go back in time and just visit this amazing piece of history that's preserved at the bottom of Lake Huron. Our mission this week is to do something that's never been done before. We're going to shoot the very first photogrammetry model of the side wheeler Detroit that's ever been done. So this is really exciting because this is going to bring history to life. We're going to be able to share this photogrammetry model with divers and non-divers and basically preserve, preserve a piece of history in order to share that with, with future generations. Hey, Brian. So right now we're over the wreck of the Detroit and we're a little over 15 miles offshore. Uh, the conditions were a little bit bumpy on the way out, but they're starting to flatten out, which is great. The sun is out, which is really going to help for the photogrammetry as well. So uh, we're going to get geared up and get ready to splash. The first time I dived the Detroit, I remember splashing down into the water and descending down that line kind of into the darkness. And the first thing that came into view was the walking beam engine with those two beautiful paddle wheels on either side. And I just remember thinking like, this can't be real. I mean, you hear about these types of ships, you read about them in books, uh, but to actually see one 
like an underwater museum preserved at the bottom of the lake was pretty spectacular. I dropped over the edge and just sort of investigated what the wooden wheels look like and they're just, they're beautiful. When you swim up towards the bow, you come across two woodstock anchors that are still in place, kind of crisscrossed on the bow. And then off to the, the starboard side of the bow is the steering pole. And the steering pole at the end of it is this globe. And it has this like golden green shimmery look to it. It's really beautiful. Uh, next to that is the smokestack. And then when you look up from there, you just can see the whole silhouette of this paddle wheeler sitting on the bottom. Photogrammetry is the process of taking sometimes anywhere from 20 images to thousands of images and overlapping them by about 50 to 80 percent from all different angles and then putting them into a software program to create a 3D model. So why is this cool? Why is this interesting? It's because sometimes you can't always see the entirety of a shipwreck. So with using photogrammetry, we can actually see a shipwreck sometimes for the first time in its entirety. What I also love about photogrammetry is it's bringing shipwrecks to life. You can share it with divers and non-divers and somebody can be sitting on their couch at home and do a virtual dive on the shipwreck. You can also give this to archaeologists and they can study the degradation of the shipwreck over time. The other thing I love about photogrammetry is you can create an actual 3D printed model of the wreck and hold an actual replica of the shipwreck in your hands. So this isn't a drawing, it's not a recreation of any sort, it is an exact replica of what that shipwreck looked like and that's very exciting to me. Planning a photogrammetry dive can be challenging. It's deep, it's dark, it's cold, we have very limited visibility and a lot of times we have very limited time. So. The planning has to be pretty exact and I bring a safety diver with me. Sometimes it can take one dive, sometimes it has to take four dives. We're wearing everything from rebreathers to bailout bottles. We're diving mixed gases or trimix with helium in it to have a clear head. And then we also have the big cameras on top of that. That dive was awesome. Oh my gosh, the conditions were so much better than the other day. Dropping down onto the wreck, I could see the wreck when we were like 100 feet above it. And the visibility was just amazing. The water was blue and clear and uh, I was able to, to finish up everything I think I needed for the photogrammetry model. So all in all, that dive was really successful and I think we're gonna walk away with like a really stunning model. So it's been three days and I processed the photos. It took about a day to do the sparse cloud and the dense cloud and then about another 20 hours to do the mesh and I did a very, very low res uh, texture to it, but it looks incredible. It looks like the Detroit and it's really incredible to see this in its entirety because when you're actually diving it, you can't see the entire ship like this. This is this looks incredible.